today on the uh, 121 we are looking at um, putting on a light bar. Light bar is going to come down under here and um, to do that uh, we're going to have to take off this one, this one so we can get in and see where the bolt holes are going to go on the car. So to do that, what we first need to do is take off the um, plus um, covers. You can see there, it's hooked underneath. So what you've got to do is you've just got to pull that over and then you can lift all of that up. Like that. That lifted, wiggle it, lift it up like that and then it slides out. Next we have these two screws on the indicators here and here we want to take those out where it's possible I like to put the um, I like to put the bolts and screws kind of back in where they came from uh, with the part removed just so um, so it's not so easy to lose them it's not always possible to do that but where it's possible I like to just screw them back in a little way so that they don't get lost. Indicator removed. We now have these two more bolts, no, two more screws, sorry. One there and one all the way back in there that's got a slide away. Way back there. With that unscrewed, before we can actually pull this off. We're going to have to unplug the indicators. So we've just got a little tab there that you've got to push in and then pull to get it out. Screws and unplug the indicators on both sides. You then have to come up. You see here we've got these little clips. One, two, three four on the top, one right down in there, one down in there, and this screw one there which I've already taken out for that, just fill it to screw To remove the ones at the bottom, get a flathead screwdriver and just push down on this little tab and that'll bring it down to the, where it's able to be unclipped and then you just pull the grill a little bit to stop it from going back up. So, for these top ones, what you want to do is just press down on the little tab. Once it's pressed down, you can pull that. You want to do the same thing along all of them. With that removed, it's on to the next step. You can also see how damaged this old radiator is. Might have to get a new one sometime then. Now for this next part, I wanted to remove the headlights um, so that I can see down into the cavity of the front bumper here because there's a bit of metal. To remove the headlights, I'm going to use a turn mill socket bit. Um, One down there which is accessed from the back, but it's a bit dark to show you right now. Um, and last one there. Before removing the headlight, there's just this one plug in the back. Just three prong plug, no clips or anything. Just give it a wiggle and pull it off. Once again, once you've removed everything with the bolts that you've taken out, put them back in where you got them from so you don't lose them and you remember where they go and which bolt goes where. Alright, new day, next on the list is removing the front bumper so we can measure up um, cuts, holes, whatever that we need to do to fit the light bar. Remove uh, the 
front bumper, we have one, two, three, four, and then you can't really see, but we have uh, another one there. Trap taken out already. Another one down in there. And then the same on the other side. One down in there. Those main bolts off. There's then a screw there, there, and the same on the other side. Now, once you have undone all the bolts and those two screws, make sure that you unplug the indicators here. So that's the uh, bumper indicators. So that just goes up through there, and then it's just that one plug there. Got that one tab that you press to unclip and then pull out. With the plugs undone. Boot the bumper up, a little pull, and it'll come off. This is a good chance to clean off all this dirt and all that kind of stuff. Pretty funky now, eh? Hey? I might take this chance to actually pump out those little vents as well. So, for the mounting, I've decided I'm going to use part of the um, bumper mounts and cut a bit of a slot into the bumper for the light to poke out. Um, but on the bumper mounts, I'm using an angle grinder and I'll be cutting part of it away um, and bending it so it can um, bolt onto the sides of the um, light bar. So what I'm doing, I'm just making one cut along here the one cut along here now after cutting those bits i took them off took these bits off using one bolt down there and two bolts at the back here next to the wheel wheel um and so i just cut that off a bit more Build a hole through here for the um, side of the light bar mounting, um, and now I've just put it all back on so I can adjust it to where it needs to be. Now, for the light bar to shine through, we are going to be cutting out the slot in the bumper. Just do it a couple of big holes, cutting it out with the bits off. Right, now that I've finished cutting the slot for the light to come through, I uh, will now, since we're here, see how this is all faded, faded, whitey kind of colour. I'm going to show you how to restore that back to its nice, alright, blackish kind of colour do that I've just got a propane torch um, you can also use a heat gun um, heat guns probably better it's more even um, but what you do basically you light the propane torch and you just get a little bit of heat going on it as you can see there it's bringing the color back already there to there. Just don't want to hold it on there too long because you don't want to make the material bubble. 